Hey everybody, it's Christine here for Glutinous Gone, and today I'm going to give you guys an idea um, for something you could take to a covered dish party. Um, I think everybody gets invited to some function, gathering party that is covered dish, and it's always really hard to do gluten-free because you have no idea how everybody prepared everything and it can be really tricky and it's hard to know what to bring because pretty much all covered dish favorites are glutinous but um, one thing that I think is really tasty people always love is baked apples and it's a really easy way easy thing to take and travel with and it's really good um, and I'll give you guys my baked apple recipe. I do them a little differently than most baked apples, which I think are more like apple pie without the crust, but I like apples to be a little more crunchy. So take your apples, chop them up. I like to chop them up into like mm, a little under half inch cubes, just whatever seems comfortable. Then put them in your baking dish, um, squirt lemon juice all over them. I think it really brings out the flavor of the apple and it's really good. A little pinch of salt on them, it really brings out the sweet flavor. Also, you're going to want to use Golden Delicious or Pink Lady apples, an apple that's really sweet. Um, something like a Granny Smith or something, the taste just kind of bakes out and they need to be nice and sweet. So after you put the lemon juice on and um, a little bit of salt, I like to use allspice for apples. Some people use cinnamon, but I don't think it's as good. I think the allspice really brings out the flavor of the apples, and it's really good. And um, you're also going to want to put a little bit of brown sugar in there, mix all of that up, and put in some butter. Just chop it up in some cubes. Uh, put like a tablespoon of butter for, you know, every three apples or apples you put in there. It just keeps the apples nice and moist and makes them really rich and delicious. And I bake it at 350 for 20 or 30 minutes just until the apples have everything nice and melted on them and are nice and hot but I don't like them to get all mushy and fall apart I like them to still have that nice bite so about 30 minutes will do it and another trick if you go to a covered dish bring your dish there is automatically one big thing that you can eat and then just pack a little something else for yourself to eat. That way you don't have to worry about it. It doesn't get awkward. You're already packing and bringing food anyway, so just go ahead and bring some more. Um, unless you know there will be other things there you can eat. Like I went to a pig picking um, where they had like a whole huge pig and it was really fun. Um, but I knew in advance that the pig was going to be what the pig was be seasoned with and how it be prepared. Um, so I just had, you know, pig, big apples, and a few other things. So, hope this helps. Till next time.